Hi, today we're looking at diet and how to eat well to be the best you can be with Parkinson's. Welcome to Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays. My name's Alison and I'm an exercise physiologist with Parkinson's New South Wales. While there's no Parkinson's specific diet, it is recommended that people with Parkinson's should eat a variety of whole grains, vegetables, fruit, milk, dairy products, protein rich foods such as meat, beans, and include nuts, olive oil, fish, and eggs in your diet for their beneficial fats. Limit your sugar intake. A diet with lots of sugar can have too many calories and too few nutrients. If you have high blood pressure, reduce your salt and sodium intake and incorporate foods high in antioxidants into your diet. These are important for overall brain health. Choosing a diet, choose a diet low in fat, low in saturated fat and cholesterol to reduce your risk of heart attack and some cancers are related to maintaining a healthy weight. Drink alcohol in moderation as they are empty calories with few or no nutrients and can cause many health problems and accidents as well. Also check with your doctor um, as it may not be advisable to mix certain medications with alcohol. Avoid fad diets. Eat foods from all the food groups. Choose a diet that has grain products, vegetables, fruits, and provides vitamins and minerals, fiber, and complex carbohydrates. Eat something along the lines of a Mediterranean diet, which is um, sparingly on the sweets and sugary things and the heavy red meats. Uh, once or twice a week, looking at poultry, eggs, and dairy. Three times a week, uh, fish, seafood, and omega-3 rich foods. You've got your nuts and legumes and seeds in there as well. And uh, enjoy daily, again, whole grains, your legumes, fruit, vegetables, healthy fats, herbs and spices, and everyday physical activity and family time. Today's exercise is for your feet and lower legs. Start with your feet flat and slowly move your weight onto your heel, lifting your toes up into the air, then return it down to flat. So just raising your toes with your weight in your heels, around about 10 to 20 reps as you go along. Of course, both feet, you can do them together or separately. And then following your 10 to 20 reps of those, then place the weight onto the ball of your foot at the front and lift the heel. This can help tone your calves and will benefit your circulation. So very simply rocking back on your heels for 10 to 20 and going up on your toes for 10 to 20 in repetition. These can be done while you're in the kitchen, of course, sorting out those nutritious um, meals and food for yourself. And doing some form of training before meals has been proven to improve your blood sugar control and improve the muscle sensitivity to insulin, something we can all do with these days. These exercises are not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please consult with your own health professional team before engaging in online fitness programs. Please type any questions you have into the comments section. If you prefer not to write in the comments, please send us a private message through Messenger or call our info line on 1800 644 189. Thanks for watching. Keep well. I'll see you next Wednesday.